What's up everybody? Back with another video. We are fishing with Kyle, Kate, and Katie. A lot of bass in here. Nothing huge, but it's just a lot of fun. A lot of action. So that's what we're looking for today. We only have a few hours we can fish. So wish us luck. Stay tuned. We're going to catch some fish. Right, Katie? Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Alright everybody. I don't know if you can see that, but what I've got here is I've just got a hook. And I've got a weight on the front that's going to sit like that. Now what I've got right here, it's a, it's a Guggen bait. It's called a trench hog. You've got black and blue. So what I do is I'm just going to hook it through here. Short ways. Then up. Now I'm going to run that up the hook. All the way to the end. So what I do here, I hold it tight to figure out where on the hook shank it needs to be. Hold it there and that's where I'm going to hook it. Just like that. I guess I will hook it a little bit. There we go. We're going to fish with that. Yep. There it is. There it is. Yeah. There he is. Get up in the air, boy. That's what we got everybody. First bass of the day. We're just gonna weigh him up just to for fun. 85 kg. We'll just well, do the 84 well, kg. Kate can put it right into pounds. Okay. That's what it weighed, 1.85. It was 84 kg. That's what it was on. Well we got him. Set here. Well you'd have to recall. Well I meant like the future. Oh there he goes. Oh, there, oh, I just snapped him right off. Did you? Yeah, that was a good one. That was probably a pickerel. Look how he snapped that off. Yeah. And he hit it hard. I'm completely just... He just put the whole clove right on the egg. Yo. I put garlic powder on, like, everything. Yeah. See, I like garlic powder. It just tastes the same as garlic. No, garlic... Oh, there it is. There it is. You got one? Yeah. Oh my god. You almost fall in? <laughs> oh, he spit it. It's like when there's more than two oh, people. Watch out. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I watched that happen. Oh. Katie, are you okay? Yes. Oh god. I, that was scary. I he watched you. No, he didn't. <laughs> I watched you set the hook, and then I saw it going airborne. I was like, "Welp." <laughs> I thought it was in my leg. And here, what like, go? <laughs> Is it on? Yes. Yeah, it's already recording. Got Kyle's butt. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle's That'll get me a thousand followers in its own. <laughs> oh, there it is. Going? Yeah. Oh, he spit it. Going? Haha, yeah. <laughs> nice. Hold that thing up, Kyle. There we go. Wait, let me get close. Good work, Kyle. Awesome. Oh, oh, oh. You just me what the? Oh my god. There it is. Did you get it? Yep. Yeah. Little one. He caught it. It's probably the one. <laughs> Get in the boat. Oh, boat flip. Yeah. <laughs> I love mine because and normally when we there he is. He's bleeding pretty good. And normally when we go fish. Well, hopefully you can hear me. I'm using this camera because it is pouring rain out. Look at that. There, so we had to come off the water. Just wanted to do some filming of this. Um, just before we left, when I get home. I'm going to give you the full breakdown what I think of the trench hog and uh, if I recommend it or don't recommend it. So stay tuned. <laughs> Kate, what do you think? <laughs> Holy cow. Literally. We are back from our fishing trip today. 
We just went out for about an hour and a half with Kyle and Kate. A really good time, caught some fish. Today, I just wanted to try out this new setup that I've been doing. Like I said before, I'm not a pro at all with bass fishing. I'm just somebody who enjoys doing it here and there, and I'm starting to learn a lot more about it as I go. So today, I wanted to try something new, and I did, and I had a lot of success today. And so, so today, I'm gonna give you a review on how I fished this bait, this particular bait, and whether or not I recommend it or not. Today, we fished with the Guggen Baits Trench Hog. It is the 10 inch, I believe, and we use blue, and we use black with blue flake in it. Now, the way I have this set up is a Texas rig. So I have a uh, bullet style, bullet style weight on the front, and I just have a uh, shallow hook set up right there. Um, a shallow hook or a weedless hook. And so what I did was that when I hook it through here, I hook it a little bit in the body, pull the body up, and I hook it just a little bit to make it completely uh, weedless. That's what I do. I did lose a couple fish today, but honestly, that's fine because I did hook some pretty decent fish today. One I caught just shy of two pounds. I used this very setup right here, and um, it was a lot of fun. So with this setup, what I was doing before with these trench hogs, because never fished them, so I, I'm not, I wasn't completely sure what to do, but I did some research and I found out about this Texas rig style. And um, if this isn't a full Texas rig, those of you who bass fish a lot, just let me know and uh, comment down below. Um, I'm not an expert and I don't really know a whole lot about this, but being a new time bass fisherman, someone who's starting to get more into it, um, I decided that I wanted to try these trench hogs out. They look really nice to me. As you can see, they have four appendages and these claws in the back, these two longer appendages, um, that's what it has. So, given the color that I used today, I had a lot of success. Especially, sorry, that bullet weight's moving on. Watching it in the water, it didn't matter how I fished it. I know that talking to my buddy Kyle, he said with jigs, um, a lot of the times they either hit it on their way down or they hit it on the way up. And what I mean by that is that when you cast it, when it's on its way down to the bottom, or when you're popping it up, it, they're catching it on the way out. I found with this setup, just like this, it didn't matter if it was on the down, or if it was on the up, or honestly, a lot of the times, they were hitting it when it was just sitting on bottom. I found that really interesting. So it didn't really matter how I fished it. Now, how I was fishing it was that I would cast it out, I'd let it sink, obviously, sink, and I'd let it sit there for three, four, five seconds. Then what, I, then what I would do is that I would either pull it up just real slow and then let it sink again, or I would pop, pop, pop it up towards the surface and let it sink, sink again. One thing I noticed about these appendages is that in the water, they have a lot of action to them. And what I mean by that is that when it's coming up and when it's going down, those appendages are flickering like this, and they swim, and they go down to the bottom, and the whole time they're moving. Even when they're coming up, they swim. When they're going down, they swim. So I noticed there's a lot of action in the appendages. Um, I think given the longer body, I don't know a whole lot about it, but for some reason they were really digging it. And even with the, even with the longer body here, they still inhaled it like it was nothing. The, the fish that I hooked, they literally swallowed the whole bait. It wasn't, the hook wasn't in the corner of the mouth, or they weren't barely hooked, they were hooked, and they inhaled it. Given this setup right here, I recommend it. I would, uh, I say I would, I'm going to fish this a lot more often. I noticed, because I've been fishing a lot of jig heads this year, because I've never really fished jigs, so I want to figure it out. And I found with the jig fishing, 
Um, rock bottoms, it's great. It seems like when fishing in the weeds, it picks up a lot of weeds. This didn't. So I was really happy about that. Um, the other thing I was really happy about with this particular bait was the way that it swam, whether it was sinking, bringing it back up, reeling it back in, it swam really well the whole time. Now, I'm not sponsored by Guggen Baits whatsoever. I watch their YouTube channel, I like their channel a lot, but I think that they make really good baits, so I wanted to give them a try, and I'm really impressed so far. So those of you who are thinking about fishing these trench hogs, I give them a, I give them a really good review. I think they're really good. I, I'm gonna fish these a lot more often. I'm gonna get a lot of different colors. Today, in particular, that black with blue flake, had really good luck with it. That's it for my review today. Thank you all for joining me. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you for all your support. Now I'm going to continue to make videos for you all because I really enjoy it. And um, it seems like I'm getting some good feedback. So uh, thanks for tuning in. And until next time.